In this question, they ask us how many right angles does she have in her diagram? Now there's a little intro up here. It says that this is a diagram that someone has. Um, and they, they want you to use the protractor here, but, but I'm going to say that a right angle is easy to identify because a right angle looks like an L. Maybe an L that way, or an L this way, right? Or an L that way, or of course an L this way. Or an L anyway, really. I mean, if you drew an L like this, you could see that it's 90 degrees, right? This is L shape right there. So in this shape, we can just count the number of right angles. And I know the answer is 4 immediately, because it says 1, 2, 3, or 4. 4 is the highest number. Why do I know it's 4? Well, look, I have this L shape right here. That's got to be one angle. And then I have another one right here, right? And then I have, well, I have one up here. That's three. And then the last one right here, that's four. So, well, why don't I have to look at all these other lines? Well, because the, they tell you right away the highest number you can get here is four. So none of these other combinations can also be right angles. And another quick thing to think about is every time you take two lines, if they cross at right angles, right, then every time that happens, you have one, two, three, four right angles. As long as they cross at a right angle, it's called two perpendicular, right, perpendicular lines. And uh, perpendicular lines just mean lines that cross at a 90 degree angle. So when they cross each other, the angle between is 90 degrees. And if, if here you're looking, this is certainly forming a right angle with this one right here. So it forms four right angles. All right, thanks a lot.